So this video will be a quick update on the minivan. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Wayne from Fade the Black. I thought to myself, you know what? I never updated the minivan on some of the little slight mods that I did for the summertime. So I thought it's perfect time to kind of update people on the minivan. It's been almost a year. It's kind of been crazy, the response that I've gotten over this thing. I mean, to me, it's just a van. I bought a van so I can haul my window tinting supplies and just pick my kids up from school and travel. And it seems to work a lot better than that regular cab pickup truck that I used to have. Now, my experience with the van has been awesome. Now, I know it's a Chrysler product. You see so many comments from people saying, it's a Chrysler, you're gonna break down, but knock on wood, I have had no problems with the van so far. I bought this van with 69,000 miles. I had it shipped all the way from Oregon to Wisconsin, jumped in and started driving. I haven't had any issues. Now, I put a lot of miles on this van. I bought this van with 69,000 miles. It now has 115,000 miles on it. So far, so good. But I did buy the van with some mods on it, but I had to change it up and do some old personal styles to make it kind of my own. Now I have plans to wrap the van. It's been such a crazy summer, a lot of stuff going on. I have not wrapped the van, but there is a lot of chrome on this van. So I wanted to try to get some of the chrome trim deleted. It's a lot, I've been busy, I haven't done all of it. I've been doing some, but I also changed the rims up. I had the rims powder coated from California Dreams in Metro, Wisconsin. I was kind of feeling a gold vibe because I wanted to do gold with like a wrap that I was gonna do, but for now I put the gold on with the red. I'm not really a fan of the red maroon, but you know, I'm rocking it anyways. I also put the Thule Alpine Plus roof box on it. I love that style, I love the van culture style. I always wanted a roof box on a minivan. I kind of had that set up in my head right away when I got the minivan. I knew I was gonna throw a roof box on it. If you haven't seen my other videos, I retinted most of it. I still have to do the driver and passenger window, but I did ceramic on the whole thing. 50% ceramic on the windshield, 20% ceramic over the whole rear of the van, so the whole thing is faded out. So the back of the van is pretty much like a 5%. Now, I also smoked the tail lights out and all the marker lights, totally smoked out with Lux Film. Um, the van is already sitting on Megan coilovers, and like I said before, the front and rear badges have been wrapped. The lower door trim, has been wrapped, the door handle's been wrapped, and I also wrapped the pillars going up the sides of the van. Now, I plan to wrap the whole roof in a gloss black, but like I said, I haven't got to that. It's been crazy busy. Um, there's a lot of things that I wanna try to do, and at some point, I wanna just wrap the whole van a completely different color, make it look just totally different than a Chrysler stock OEM color. So one of the messed up parts is the front passenger wheel, I ended up hitting on a curb, dinged it all up. So now I'm kind of at the point where should I change the rims up for next year, go with a different color, I don't know. I don't like the silver that was on there so I knew I had to get rid of that silver. But I like having some color on the wheels. So I didn't want to do black because you know everything, is, is so much black wheels out there nowadays. Like even on my Impala, I got black wheels on that. So I wanted to do something with some color. So I really like the gold. And from a lot of comments on social media and TikTok and Instagram, people really like the gold. But it wasn't my first idea to do gold with the maroon. So I got this one kind of messed up. I might just maybe re-coat it again, the same color, but I know when um, Anthony powder coated it, uh, he said it was kind of a pain in the butt to do. So we'll see. Um, but like I said, I thought of changing the colors, but I don't really know if I'm gonna do that yet, so I don't know. But I really, really like the gold on there. So we'll see, maybe I'll just fix the one and keep going. I like these rims because they are really deep and concave. So when you come up at the van at an angle, you have that concave look. So I really like those wheels. I don't really wanna go with a flush wheel, a flat one. I just, I just really like that concave look of the rim. So I kinda wanna stay with this model rim. So we'll see. One of the major things that I wanna do with the van is just wrap it, I guess, the whole thing. So maybe next spring that will be something that I kind of get on the radar to try to get done. Uh, get some of my buddies Tyler and those guys from Apex. Maybe we'll just come down, we'll just wrap this thing really quick and we'll knock it out. But I have been loving the van. It works awesome for what I do. Always driving. I know people in this town, they say they always see me all over the place because I'm always running to the shop or running to pick my kids up or running to town for something. And I always, I just like driving the van. It's crazy the response that you get from all types of people at the gas station, driving down the road, thumbs up, little videos going down the highway. People people go crazy for the van. And I never expected that because you don't see a lot of minivans modded. So I never expected the, the response um, of having a minivan. I just prefer it because it works well for what I do. So 
I am in a new shop, as you can see behind me. A lot of my other videos a long time ago were in the garage at the other place. This is the new shop. I haven't had a formal video of the new shop. I'm still trying to get stuff set up. As you can see, we're gonna be messing with this, getting rid of these holes up in that upper mezzanine. Um, I'm still trying to put all my stuff away in the back. So thank you to everyone that has helped made this shop possible. I greatly appreciate it. I'm gonna give you guys a little walk around footage of the van and then we're gonna be done. But stay tuned because I will have a video talking about the shop and stuff like that as well. So hey, check out the end of the video. I'll roll some clips of the van. Until next time, stay faded. Peace.